Hey everyone and welcome back to another Shadowlands video. This one is a bit of a hot topic. Could these be our next allied races? There sort of is evidence to suggest so, but it's also mired in a bit of mystery. So today we're going to cut through all of that stuff. We're going to work out what's probably actually going on. And uh, though I will say this, remember what happened with the Volpera? Yeah, that could very well happen again. So let's just get into the three races in question, right? So here are the night phase fawns. They're furry Drenai. Yes, they'll be popular. Uh, then we got the Carrions of Bastion, we got the Venthyr of Revendreth, and as for the Necrolords, I mean, it's kind of hard to tell with them what they'd actually look like because their aesthetic is more just, you know, dead people and ghouls, so we'll have to see there. But certainly, if you look at the variants of each of the main three races there, I mean, you can see how they fit, right? The Carrion Aspirants, they are fantasy Greeks. The Venthyr are just vampire nightborn, kinda. And the Night Fae, I mean, yeah, they're fur Drenai. That will do well. Uh, and yeah, player gear could fit in all those things. Animations would probably work in all of those things as well. So if Blizzard wanted to make these allied races, yes, I'm absolutely sure they could make it so. BFA really has meant that just any time we see new races in the game, we instantly think, will these be playable? And, I mean, Blizzard did set good precedent with that through BFA. Of course, the big question, though, and the point of this video is, uh, is there evidence? What does the evidence look like? And really, that's where Shadowlands gets interesting. And today, we're going to be going through, well, the actual evidence and what's going on. First, though, do you want to support what we're doing? Do you also want to get some pretty damn cool loot in the process? Well, here is our special for this month that comes on top of the regular troll art pack and the priest pin pre-order. Uh, yeah, so do you love fantasy sort of space scapes? Well, here are two. Our art team put them together and uh, oh man, they're, they're gorgeous. I can't wait to actually get them in person. So you can get that and it also helps us out a great deal as well, which uh, I mean, I'll be real, has been an incredible help in this time of, uh, yeah, just the ad rates uh, going by about 50% which uh, is not really fun. But anyway, thank you everyone for your support. And with that, let's get into allied races, maybe. All right, so early on into the process, data miners noticed something very, very interesting indeed. They saw four new allied race database entries that pointed to four existing placeholder races in the races database. The Toscar, Forest, Trolls, Rykul, and Tonga, which have been kind of like there for ages. Now, what's wild though is that like those have been in the game for some time, but the thing is that the display ID for those new allied race database entries, that points to textures and models for the Kyrian, Venthyr, Necrolords, and Night Fae. So does that mean that all four are confirmed as allied races? I mean, maybe, but there's an alternative that you need to hear. Because when you select your allied races in your embassy, a UI element appears. Now, it's actually very possible here that Blizzard are, in fact, reusing the same allied race selection system UI for your covenant selection, i.e. that it's mostly just a copy and pasted system, uh, but Blizzard didn't really change names in the back end. Is there more to this? Well, Blizzard will have known that this stuff will have appeared in the data mining in this way, right? Like, there's no way that they wouldn't. So that could be part of a hype cycle, it totally could be, and that could suggest that these allied races may indeed appear in the future, similar to what we saw with, say, the Valpera during Battle for Azeroth's alpha and beta testing period. Now, there is one further thing here, because upon closer inspection, the Lortex DB only has entries for the Kyrians and the Venthyr. Now, this fueled even more speculation that they might actually be allied races. And looking at both, you could see why people would speculate that. The Venthyr kind of look like Vampire Nightborn. The Carrions, again, are very humanoid. So, yeah, you could totally see both of those being added as allied races, right? Totally, you could. Especially with the Carrion Aspirants who, you know, they're wingless, so they would also fit. And so far, you might think that all makes sense. But there are two roadblocks here. One, they don't appear to be character creator races. That means that character equipment and all of that stuff, if you actually look at them, they're all part of the same model. Now, that's what the Nightborn actually look like as NPCs, and that's why the Nightborn allied races uh, and look very different to the NPCs. Basically, they were rebuilt. And then there's thing number two. These are the first two places that we're going to in the Shadowlands testing, right, for Alpha. So maybe that's why they're the only two that have got lower DB entries, and that could explain 
explain it. Now, you could do a gigabrain here, right? And you could say that they just reused the allied race selection system for the Covenant races because the Covenant races are going to be allied races at some point, but I actually don't think it's that. I really do think this is primarily the reuse of a UI, right? Just a UI element. They've just hacked it together fast. I mean, with the four new allied race um, entries pointing to old character or placeholder uh, character races, but then also pointing towards the Covenant race textures, I mean, to me, that just, like, look, the, the lazy programmer in me is just like, yeah, obviously I'd copy-paste that system, point another thing to another place for the textures, and bam, jobs are good, and I've just done it quick. That's how I'd program something. You know, either that or I'd just look up Stack Overflow. That's what most programming ends up being like. Um, so, I mean, yeah, like, that to me seems like what's went on here. Now, all of that being said, I also would not at all be surprised if these guys ended up being allied races. The base Kyrians would certainly fit, as would the Venthyr, and uh, the same goes for the Night Fae. I mean, hey, they're furry Draenei. Certain servers would love that. As for the Necrolords of Maldraxxus, yeah, as I said, I'm a bit less sure about them, though maybe their story could lead to a new group of undead-looking dudes joining some of our factions. I mean, you know, Night Fae, Kyrian, uh, Alliance, uh, and then maybe Venthyr Necrolords Horde. That sort of makes sense. Uh, now, you may be thinking here, if Wizard were to do allied races, why wouldn't they announce it? And yeah, it does make sense. Uh, first though, unlike with the Legion to BFA period, doing a pre-order bonus would have been impossible for BFA to Shadowlands uh, for allied races because we've not met the races yet, unlike the first wave of allied races that we got. Second, I think it's clear the team were a little bit behind schedule on this expansion and uh, that they really focused on adding more customization options to the existing races instead of making new races. Now, the time taken to make those customization options for existing races, that would take away dev time from many Covenant allied races. And it seems to me that that is a choice that the team made. And if so, actually, you know what, respect. Because seriously, allied races, I think they would have pulled in more money. I think they would have generated a little bit more hype. But instead, the WoW team clearly chose to work on the fundamentals of the races that they currently have. And I do respect that decision making, actually. You know, props to them for turning down the more instantaneous high money solution and just working on what is the right thing to do for the quality of the game. Now, with that said, going back to BFA data mining, there were character creator Valpera, but like, they basically didn't work. Loads of their options were broken, and, I mean, there was barely any options to begin with. So, Kyrians and Co. not being character creator races in the alpha, that doesn't really mean too much to me. Like, if I'm being honest with you, okay? I mean, if we think logically about all of this stuff, though, I mean, Blizzard has set the expectation, right, that expansions tend to have allied races in them, so they will want to use that feature. I think it does make sense. It is a tremendous draw for the game. And having a wave of allied races mid-expansion, yeah, that would absolutely give them that big engagement boost that they would want after, say, the first wave of six-month subs have ran out for Shadowlands. Therefore, I actually think it makes complete business sense for Blizzard to, um, yeah, have him be a part of patch 9.1 or 9.2. I mean, lore-wise, I will say it could be a bit tricky exfiltrating them from the Shadowlands. I'll definitely say that. Like, surely the point is that these these boys are dead, right? They're stuck there. And, you know, and our, like, whole power as a Maw Walker is that we're not stuck there. So that is very true, and that is a blow against the case of them being allied races. Uh, that said, we don't know how the Shadowlands expansion lore is going to play out. Very well could be that, you know, in foiling Sylvanas and the Jailer and making good friends with the Arbiter, we change something, and maybe we allow them to be allied races, you know, sort of ambassadors from the Shadowlands realms into the realms of the living, because both, you know, the good guys in the Shadowlands and the good guys in the mortal realm, maybe we have a common goal after this expansion. I mean, hey, based on what Steve Denuser has said, we certainly will have a common enemy, right? The good guys in the Shadowlands on us when we actually go into the cosmos, which is probably what 10.0 is going to be. Then also, just thinking about the lore here, and in terms of the faction divide, Blizz is recently blog post has told us that Maldraxxus is trying to invade Bastion, so there's that, and a certain old Alliance character is actually a Kyrian now, so, you know, if that scuffle was to be resolved, it would make sense for the Kyrians to have a more Alliance affinity and the Necrolords to have a more Horde affinity. I mean, I think Draca is actually a member of the Necrolords, so that would make sense. Uh, now, there is one final challenge. Each Covenant has already got a Mountain and Transmog set, I believe, so if they were allied races, then Blizz would have to come up with another one, so, yeah, that is a little bit awkward. But there you go, that's the allied race situation. Uh, a look at the three races that we've got in more detail, and then just a little bit of discussion. And just, you know, I've seen a lot of, some, some talk, some hype that these very likely could be allied races. 
Um, and I do think they very likely, some of them will be allied races. I just don't necessarily think that the data mining right now is saying that that is a confirmed thing and definitely will be the case. But definitely I'll say that the devs knew what this data would look like. They totally knew that. I mean, looking up those like race IDs, you know, in the databases, that's like data mining 101. Like I'm not a data miner, but that's even stuff that I've tooled around with back in BFA. So yeah, devs, you wee rascals, you got us all talking about your allied races. Yeah, I'm not going to be surprised if, uh, if some of this stuff actually does, uh, does end up being, being true. I mean, look at Volpera, right? Blizzard said, oh, we don't know if there'll be an allied race. Right, a lot of the WoW community, well, you know, <laughs> they got a bit sweaty and really wanted those Volparas, right? Really wanted those furry wee dudes. And then, you know, the other half of the uh, WoW community was kind of like, haha, we'll quit the game if Volpera make it in. That was a really fun discourse back then. But you know what I mean, though? There was obviously a lot of hype for the idea of Volpera coming, and they, they ended up actually being in the game, right? It just turned out they basically needed to put mecha gnomes in to actually be there as a, as a counterpart to them. So I think we'll get these allied races. It will not be at launch. I don't even think it'll be 9.1. I think it might be more of a 9.2 to go through why I think that just narratively, I think that 9.0 and 9.1 will be very much wrapping up the core story of like the initial thrust of Shadowlands. But then I think, you know, it's Blizzard, right? They generally like to have a, not a twist in the middle of an expansion, but you know, after Act 1 happens, right, then, you know, things start to change a good bit as we sort of point towards the end of the expansion, which is something we don't really know about right now. Uh, that is where narratively it would make sense for us to actually band together with these covenants. And of course, each covenant does have its own campaign, its own story. Those stories do have crossover points that are supposed to be very big narrative moments for the story of Shadowlands. So if all that stuff's going on, and then if you think, right, the amount of players are going to be playing all of these uh, all of these covenants, they're going to be trying to, you know, unlock their, their armor sets and their tents and stuff. I think that means the players will have a stronger connection with these factions than they actually will have with... Uh, uh, you know, with the, like, the Zandalari or the, uh, the Kul Terrans. So I think that actually means that if these were to be allied races, they'd probably be, there'd probably be more hype, actually. I'm just going to go out and say that. Anyway, there you go. That's a bit of a preview, some discussion. Let me know. What do you think? Do you want these to be allied races? Do you expect them to be allied races? Let me know. Thank you very much for watching this video. And with that, I'll see you next time.